Today we are taking a look on how to purge your Tailwind CSS. Purging CSS in Tailwind is definitely not a feature where your chin drops because it looks cool but it's definitely something you should know and it's actually very important to know how that feature looks like and how it works. But before we dive into it, I recognize that 95% of you who watch that video are not subscribed to the channel. So please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any further videos on CSS frameworks. Also, that would mean a lot to me. Okay, so in the previous videos we created our landing page and we used um, some of the Tailwind class classes, but definitely not all of them. So that's not ideal because Tailwind actually has a huge CSS file. So let's take a look on actually how large that file is. And if we take a look at the folder, then we see that this file is around 3.5 megabytes and that's of course uncompressed and includes the custom CSS here but it's a huge file and if we compare that with other um, frameworks like bootstrap um, or foundation for sites or maybe Bulma then those CSS files are around 20 to maybe 15 kilobytes. So 3.5 megabytes is definitely too huge. And Tailwind actually offers something we can use and also should use. And if we take a look at the documentation of Tailwind, then we find below the optimize for production section, we find actually that Tailwind knows that it has a file size of nearly 3.5 kilobytes uh, megabytes i'm sorry if you minify it you still at 2.8 uh, megabytes and if you get it through brodlin or we are a cdn or something like that it's still uh, 71 kilobytes which is even then uh, much more than bootstrap or the other frameworks have so in our case, we have an uncompressed Tailwind CSS. So let's actually purge it. And for that, we can remove using unused CSS with Tailwind and use that purge option. And for that, all we need to do is we have to enter our HTML files and all the other files which contain um, CSS classes from Tailwind and then Tailwind will look through the code, will look at it and throw all the classes out we don't use. So let's go um, to our Tailwind config um, JS. And here we already have the perch array. In here, we just type in our folder, which is this, so dot for the root, this for the folder, and then we have our index dot HTML. So let's save that. And then we also, of course, have our style.css. Let's add that as well. And last but not least, we also have a main.js. And in here, we also toggle um, these, uh, the Tailwind class hidden, and maybe in the future also other classes. So we should also add this JavaScript file in here main.js and i already made a mistake because <laughs> what i selected here with the style css is actually the um, css file which we output after building C uh, tailwind so we actually have to reference the source file here so we need to reference the source file because that's the one where we input tailwind uh, import tailwind and add our custom code all right once that's done, we can save that and we can rebuild our CSS. And with that, Tailwind um, reduces the file size. Um, then Tailwind also offers other options here where you can even go deeper into more details. 
So for example, you can enable the whole perching thing um, manually. So we can add, like currently we have only this array, but we also can add um, this object around it. So let's also do that. So we have a starting object here, ending object here. And then this one is below content. And before that we have enabled and we set that to true, I guess. Exactly true. Um, and then you can trigger it if you want to purge the CSS right now, or if you don't want to, you just can set that to true or false. Um, then another way if you don't want to add all the files manually. So let's, we currently have only one index file in here, but maybe you have several index file, uh, several HTML files um, in different uh, locations and folders. So what you can do, you can also just add here. Um, yeah, this is how is it called. You can just type it like that. And also let's assume we have a new folder in here, which has, I don't know, pages. And in here, there's another uh, page one HTML. We don't have anything in here, but let's assume we have a file named like that. Then all we need to do, you add a second star for a folder and then one for the name of the HTML file. And what it will do is it looks into the, the this folder distribution folder and checks all the folders and gets all the HTML files within there. And let's build our CSS one more time. Then we take a look at our document, which is still the same. And also, as you can already see, we reduced our CSS from 3.5 megabytes to 18.5 kilobytes. So as you can see, this is the dist folder where we build our CSS style new. And now we have a file size of 18 kilobytes, which is way better um, instead of the 3.5 megabytes. And please consider this is still not compressed and minified or anything else. It's really plain CSS. Yeah, what other elements can you use here? Um, you can also uh, preserving HTML elements. So by default, Tailwind will preserve all the basic HTML elements in your CSS. Um, and you just can trigger that with a false and true value as with the enabling. Um, to trigger that if you want to do that or not. Um, another thing is you can also only purge specific layers of the CSS. So as you know, Tailwind comes with the space um, CSS, the component CSS and the utility CSS. And here you can basically tell the purging um, option to only purge certain layers and leave the others as they are. And then of course, you might also include um, external um, CSS. So from other libraries or maybe your own files or whatever. And the default behavior from Tailwind is that it only will purge Tailwind CSS classes. So it looks at Tailwind CSS classes and sees are they used or not and then gets rid of them, but it leaves um, external libraries as they are. So if the CSS from them are not used, they still in the CSS file. But you can also do um, that with an option called mode. And if you set that to all, I zoom in for you guys. Um, if you set that to all and also you need to reference them in the content section and this is very important that you put all the files in there which need to be referenced somewhere or referencing CSS classes. You need to put them in the, into the contact section, but then 
Tailwind will also um, reduce the f uh, unused CSS file uh, classes from there, which is really awesome because I guess you often import any CSS libraries to use maybe one component or one thing you need or a JS library which brings in a lot of CSS um, but you just want to have a slider or whatever. Um, and here you can purge off the whole C um, CSS you don't need from the, those files. And the same goes with keyframes and yeah, you still have other purge CSS options. But yeah, that's the purging option in or feature actually in Tailwind CSS. Take a look at it, use it all the time because that's very important to increase the page speed of your site, which will directly affect your uh, Lighthouse statistics and your SEO in Google and stuff like that. Yeah, and that's already it. How That's how you can purge your CSS and get rid of all the classes you don't need with your uh, within your website. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and see you next week. If you're bored in the meantime, maybe you want to watch uh, this video or maybe that video. Um, and bye.